In this example, we're told that the nine numbers below have a mean value of 10. So we have 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, 12, 15, 21, and some unknown value x. Now the first part of the question wants us to find the value of x. So we're going to recall that the mean is the sum of all values over the number of values that we have there. So for this example, we know that the mean is 10, and the sum of all the values is 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15 plus 21 plus our unknown value x. And the number of values that we've got there is 9. So a bit of rearrangement tells us that 90, just taking this 9 from down here up to the top, is equal to now 3 plus 4 plus 5, etc. up to 21 is 76. So we have 76 plus x. Therefore, we see that x is 90 minus 76, which is 14. So the value of x is 14. Now, to find the median, the first thing we need to do is to write out all the points in our data in order. So at the minute they're in order, but we've now got this x value to fit in. So our x value, which is 14, goes between our 12 and 15. So writing them out in order, we get 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, 12, 14, 15, and 21. So the median value is the middle value, and the middle value we calculate by doing 9 plus 1 over 2, so that is 5, so the median is the fifth value. So all we do is calculate the median by moving along to find the fifth value. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you see we've got 4 to the left and we've got 4 to the right as well. So we know we've got our median value. So we say that the median is 9. So what is the median? The median is 9. Now we're told that another set of 15 numbers has a mean of 20. And we've been asked to find the sum of these 15 numbers. So again, coming back to this result here, that the mean is the sum of all the numbers over the total number there. So we know we have a mean of 20. And that is equal to the sum of all of them divided by the number of them there. And the number of them there is 15. So that tells us that the sum of all of them is equal to 20 times 15, which is 300. So we can say that the sum of these 15 numbers is 300. So finally, we've been asked to find the mean of all 24 numbers. So again, the mean is the sum of all of them over the number there. Now for this example, we knew from the beginning that the sum of all of them of the first set was 90. For the second set, the sum of all of them was 300. And the total number of them is 24. So we need to divide by 24. So the mean is 390 over 24, which is 16.25. So the mean of all the numbers is 16.25.